I'm here with Teresa Smith from Kennebec Valley Community College. How are you today? I'm really good, Gary. How are you? I am great. Tell us what you got cooking for this fall semester. We got a lot of stuff cooking for this fall semester. Um, we're coming out of pandemic mode. We're getting back into having more live classes. Um, we're looking forward to having more of that, you know, chatter and, and energy in, on campus. And so um, we will be starting with a, a full rotation of all of our classes this fall in person. Um, but one of the good things, I guess, if there is a good thing about the pandemic is um, it's allowed us to expand our choices for students. So if we do still have people that are more comfortable taking classes um, remotely, they can continue to do that for quite a few classes. Um, but for those folks who are really those hands-on learners that are looking forward to being back in the labs, back in, you know, um, whether that's a nursing lab or an electrical lab, um, they're going to be here on campus and, and, and really be back in session. Well, that's great. What special things do you have for classes? Well, one of the biggest things that most folks have probably heard about is the free community college that came out of Governor Mills' um, budget that she was really committed to having. And so here in the main community college system and here specifically at KVCC, if students graduated between 2020 or 2023, so even next year, they can take advantage of this program where they'll come in as long as they are in a major here and they are taking roughly 30 credits each year, um, they can go have their tuition and all of their fees covered. So it's pretty much free to go to school here. Um, one of the neat things is, is that this doesn't just pertain to high school kids. So if you were an adult who maybe finished up your GED or your high set and graduated within those same years, um, you can qualify for this program and come here and get get some training. What we're really looking to do is to help um, students you know, complete a credential and to get into that workforce. One of the things that I think is really neat about it is that, let's say, Gary, that you have a nephew who lives out of state um, but wants one of those unique programs that we have here at KVCC. Um, I'll pick on our occupational therapy assistant program. Um, if he wanted to come here from out of state, live with Uncle Gary, um, go to school here at KVCC, um, he would qualify for that same arrangement. So it, it doesn't just have to be um, Maine folks. We're really looking to get good people into the workforce here at Maine. Now as an adult, if I was working, mm -hmm. can I still do some credits here at KVCC? Yeah, absolutely. The, the free college is one thing that we've got going on. But as an adult who's working, we try to offer more night courses. Um, some of those online courses are really great. And, you know, if you're like me, I'm very much, a, I like to learn in person. I like to see the people that I'm working with. Um, so we're going to have those classes that are face-to-face. -face. But we also, again, with the technology from our friend, the pandemic, um, you know, that might be a live class that's taking place at night after your work hours. Or we have a lot of folks who work nights and come here during the day. So there are many options available. Well, that's great as well. Do you have anything going on for the summertime here? We do. We have a really good, robust um, summer program going. A lot of it is online because things were so uncertain with, you know, where things would be with the pandemic. But um, any student who wants to get started this summer, we just are starting classes. Um, and so there will be a series of classes throughout the summer that they can pick up on. They would just need to give us a call here in admissions and we can help them decide, you know, what's best for them. Um, the other thing, too, that people don't often realize about Kennebec Valley is that we have a really good workforce development office. And so maybe you don't want to come to college and earn a degree or earn a certificate, but you want to um, get some training in a field. Maybe you're already a plumber, but you want to get up to date on, you know, some new heat pumps or, you know, new technology that's out there. Through our workforce um, training and professional development office, we have shorter um, training sessions that come in. So we have folks that come in almost, um, you know, two or three times a year. Um, we start um, programs and things like welding in that oil burner um, certification. And so there are those shorter trainings for folks who are already working but want to get up to speed. So tell me, how would I or how would anybody get to KVCC? How do, what is what sure. is the procedures? Sure. Um, there, the first thing you can do is you can jump on the website if you want to, which is just um, kvcc.me.edu, 
or if you don't like technology so much and you like people, um, you can come into the admissions office. We are open to have folks come in. We're at 92 Western Avenue in Fairfield. Um, or you can give us a call, and the number's really easy to remember. It's 453-KVCC, and they'll get you right through to the admissions office, and we can help you figure out what's the best plan forward. Well, thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Teresa Smith with KVCC. And this is Gary Poulin with Chamber Chatter. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Maine Technology Group and Roma Joe's. Signing off for now.